This is Boston, and tonight a 91-year-old college hockey neighborhood rivalry as the Crimson and All-America captain Danny Biega are on the road, but a road trip of only three and a half miles to see the Boston University Terriers and Kaysen Holman, Hockey East Player of the Week. The Crimson and the Terriers, Harvard and Boston University on the NBC Sports Network. Beaverson, Luke Greiner, Alex Falstrom up front for the Crimson, Dan Ford, Danny Biega, the captain in back, Wade Meegan, Kaysen Holman, Sahir Gill, the productive line reunited after Meegan missed one game to a shoulder injury, Sean Escobedo, Adi Oxenen, the defense for the white-shirted Terriers, and led on to the back where it's played over to Reich again, wrist shot, oh, and it's battled for in front, trying to poke away, they score out of the net now, scramble, Wesley Myron, and it's 1-0. Grizzly with it there. Nieto plays it. Nieto a shot. Fought off. Score! And the rebound! The goal is scored by Danny O'Regan with his parents watching and his sisters. And Tommy is unhappy. His team has dropped down by two. Holman got it back again. Looks across. Escobedo a shot. That was slowed. Gill a shot. Save. Rebound. Another save. Rebound. Score! Megan! Great right pad save by Rafael Gerard. Peeling off with this, Tommy O'Regan tried to flip one in front, got it back again from the slot, a shot, he scores! The O'Regans have both struck for goals! That save by Raphael Girard against Danny O'Regan really helps it set up for Tommy O'Regan. And that's some kind of shot by Tommy O'Regan, the sophomore out of Needham Mass. Quick release, he just fools O'Connor with the shot. And stepping along is Holman for the Terriers. But then led on back up for Tommy O'Regan, given back to Hart in a drive. He scores! Hart! And it is three to two, Boston University. Here comes a stretch pass, get strong in the puck, move it out, stretch it out, right here. Then the stretch, drive, go wide, give it to Brian Hart. Brian, don't waste time, just bam! Right by Matt O'Connor. And now we got a one goal game, Doc. That O'Regan factor in this game is huge. Tommy O'Regan, two points in the game. Play to be made to the back now and dealt back on for another hold and a shot. Score! What a shot sent toward the net by Matt Nieto. Notre Dame to join next year, UConn after that. A scramble at the front of the net, they poke away at it. And able to hold it off enough was Gerard. And now the signal is it is a goal. The puck was over the line. But it does count for Boston University a three-goal lead. Boy, there's some great storylines going into this NHL season, though. Oh, score on the rebound! Marshall Everson has cut the lead down to two at five to three. Everson does a great job walking off the wall. Right there, he gets lost in coverage and just capitalizes on the juicy rebound to make it a two-goal spread with 13.22 to go. And he plays well, too. Yes, he does. Thrown ahead now, and it's Griner right in front. He scores! Griner, a power play goal. It's a one-goal game. Luke Griner out of Fairbowl, Minnesota, where Shattuck St. Mary's is. Yes, the legendary Shattuck St. Mary's. He takes advantage of this opportunity on the power play. And now we do have a game. We're back at it, Doc. A little awkward coming out of their own zone, but then the stretch pass, and then Griner does a real good job going around Oxenden. He finishes it off. Watch Oxenden. Stick position is not very good, and because of that, he loses his man going to the net. Griner, and Griner makes it a one-goal game. Under four minutes to go, third period. If tied, there is a sudden-death overtime period, but we're not tied just yet. Blop back in, and O'Connor got put on the score! with a blooper. When I was a kid growing up in Montreal, I used to watch the late J.C. Trombley do this from center ice. He'd put the puck way up in the air, the old form, and then try to get the forwards to win races. This is a little deeper, but there's the bouncing play, and what a play for Colin Blackwell out of St. John's Prep. Griner in digging again in the last eight seconds. Griner centered one, and that one kicked right back. Still sparring for it. Griner battling on the boards along with Danny O'Regan behind, and the horn will signal overtime. Rebound, it bounced on now to be taken and sent back by Nieto to Noonan. His shot was well wide. Off the referee's leg, can be lifted along now to be set up by Tommy O'Regan. Laid back up the wing, Morrison is in! He scores! Morrison! And Harvard comes from 5-2 down to win in overtime.
Stretch pass to a streaking Connor Morrison, and he takes advantage of it. Real good job. Strong on the wall by Tommy O'Regan. Connor Morrison skates into that puck that's passed into a dead area, and he just beats Matt O'Connor on the short side. What a nice feed, though, Doc, from Tommy O'Regan to Connor Morrison. We talked about Morrison and his NHL pedigree through his father and his grandfather. That's a happy camper right there, Connor Morrison.